bit windy this morning. this morning and I'm going to walk to West Morning over the next couple of days taking in two burial chambers and a tower and the ruins of an old abbey hopefully uh, anyway like I say I've just left the village Cuxton which was down there pretty little village co-op a few shops there so I grab myself some breakfast and I'm just picking up the North Downs way so I have to head off in this direction uh, I've got a few bits of gear I want to test out this weekend. I've uh, got a new solar panel uh, It's running my GPS or well, hopefully running my GPS even though I've got back for backup so it'll be interesting to see how that goes in conditions like this uh, A few other little bits and pieces I've got uh, Stay with me Enjoy the journey and I'll check back with you in a little while. Bye bye for now. Oh, it looks like I'm not the only crazy fool out here in this wind. I've even got me wind mic muff on the camera. But I bet you're struggling to hear me. Still, lovely views, lovely walk so far. Cuxton's right over there in the distance now. Still on the North Downs way. But I thought I'd put my wind mic and see just how clear the sound comes out. It is absolutely blowing a gale. <laughs> anyway, check back with you all in this well. Well, hello there. I'm about halfway through my walk today, and it's been an interesting walk. A bit breezy, uh, walking through the trees. I've just come through these trees here. <laughs> There's a few branches falling down around my ear rolls, <laughs> but nothing actually hit me. So. Yeah, I'm loving the walk. I think I've got about three and a half miles to go before I get to Coldrum Long Barrow and that's where, well not not far after that is where I'll be ending my walk for today I think about a mile after that I've seen a woodland that I'm stopping tonight so I'll give you a good view when we get there like I say when, when you're out the breeze it's quite nice, even though it's very, very cloudy. We'll have a few spits and spots of rain, but nothing to, you know, nothing to worry about. I stopped about half an hour ago, had myself a cup of coffee and a snack. Yeah, keep me going. So we'll just press on. Not sure if you can hear the squelching of the mud, <laughs> but as you might gather, it's quite slippery underfoot in places along here. Wind seems to have died down quite a bit, but still getting a, a gust every now and again, which is quite strong. Uh, yeah, doing well. Join the walk. Must be working because I'm aching a bit. <sighs> that seems to be getting any fitter at all. Never mind how far I walk or how many times I go for a walk. 
Must be the beer, I think. <laughs> and the cakes and the sausage rolls. Still, lovely, lovely walk. Won't be long now before the bluebells come out. So in about another three, three weeks. Or maybe even slightly sooner if the sun appears. But yeah, loving it. Just got to be careful I don't slip over. As usual, I'm caked in mud. Seems to be the normal thing now. Every time I go for a walk, I end up caked in mud. Right. Wash it off. The boots polish up. So, we'll continue onwards. Thanks for staying with me. Well, as you can probably hear, the wind's back. Yeah, the trees swaying nicely up there. Yeah. Luckily, I haven't been hit by any branches yet. <laughs> yeah. They reckon we could get gusts tonight of up to 60 miles an hour. Uh, as I'm going to be camping in the woodland somewhere, I'm going to have to look, make sure there's no loose branches above me. Don't want to wake up in the middle of the night with a bang on the head. <laughs> anyway, just stop for a quick five minute break. Uh, get my breath back. And then I've got to head off down this hill, continue on with my journey. Well, hello there again. I've just passed the sign saying the Cauldron Long Barrow is just down here. Well, it's down this way. No, so, I believe it's about a quarter of a mile, maybe less. But just thought I'd show you the views. I've just emerged from the woodlands up there. Just here is the Pilgrim's Way and the North Downs Way. So we'll head on down to Holton Long Barrow. Um, a lot earlier than what I thought I'd be. I didn't expect to get here for at least another two hours. So I'll be spending a little bit longer here than what I thought to pass the time. So like I say, I planned on staying about a mile, I think up in the woodlands, up in the distance. So I don't want to get there too early. Same about the weather, could have been a little less windy, a little bit warmer. It's been a lovely walk so far. Uh, there was a sign just back there, uh, I don't know if you see in the photograph, it says Cuxton, where I set out from this morning, six and a half miles. Obviously it's a slightly different route to what I've taken, because there's a slightly more direct route which I went up through the woodlands, so I like walking through the trees. Uh, anyway, as soon as we get to Coldham Long Barrow, I'll let you all have a look around. If you wish, feel free to pause, you can read. Oh, I'm going to come up to the top of Brow Road now. Um, there's a few people here, they've just walked all the way around. So you can come out the bottom. At the top here there's a tree, more prayer ribbons, wish ribbons. Oh. That's 
place with all the recent wind. It's taken a lot of them away. The light today is not ideal. The entrance to the long barrel itself is just over there. Originally it would have ran underneath here. Not actually sure how large it actually was. I didn't actually read the information board, I must admit views in the summer will be totally spectacular. You get more of an idea of the tree when it's covered in leaves with all the wishing ribbons and prayer ribbons everything attached to it. What a sacred place this would be. Yeah, there's a viewpoint down the bottom there of the actual entrance itself. Lots of primroses about. We'll take a wander down the bottom. On this weekend's journey, I plan on visiting Addington Long Barrow as well. Uh, from what I've seen on the internet, there's nothing left of it, just a slight little mound. It was actually cut in half by the road, and like I say, there's nothing left of it. But we'll go there as well. That'll be tomorrow now, though. Oh, here we go. Same again, if you wish. Pause so that you can read. As it says on that map there, uh, chestnuts, that's actually on private land. So if you can't actually go and see that, you can pay a fee and pre-book to go and visit it. But like I say, we'll go to Addington. And the other one over there, Kitscote House. I went there um, just before New Year's Eve. So that's on one of my other videos. Uh, 
I think it's called late December or walking late December something like that so if you're interested watch that one and you'll see the Kitskoti megaliths this is the reason we came here today in the wind and the rain Here in London, said it wasn't going to rain until 10 o'clock tonight. They did say about the gusts, but... It'll be cloudy, I didn't expect it to be damp as well though. But... We've got over this stall here. Sorry about that, as I was saying, we'll go over this stall here. Uh, the camera just turned itself off for some reason. It's a bit strange. Yeah, I think this one says the same. That's where we went in. So that's where we came down, up by that house in the distance. Along there is the North Downs Way at the bottom of the ridge there on the bottom of the tree line I actually walked down through the trees so I wanted to walk through the woodland and we have to head off next along that way but we'll just go back to where we went up the stairs to the tree with the ribbons on so that we're taking a walk all the way round I did plan on spending a while here but I think I might have to find a bit of shade even though I've got my stall and everything with me so I can sit down in the peace and the quiet as I said before if you want to pause you can read feel free to do so It's nice to find a bit of history. When I was walking down the path, I see a few ribbons and there's a looks like a Christmas card wish down there. Taken by the wind. So the wishes get passed on. Anyway, I'm going to sit down in the peaceful, quiet surroundings. I'll check back with you in a little while. Bye bye for now. Over this way, I call them my Ordnance Survey map. About three quarters of a mile, it's a pub in this direction. So I walk up past this whole church here. And it's possible it's where that white building is in the distance. It's a little village called Trotty's Cliff. And the pub, I've googled it, it's called the George Inn, and it's open. So, we're going to have a cheeky little beer. Because where I want to camp tonight, i say it's about a mile, I think, in that direction over there. In some woodlands. It's a bit early in the day yet. Uh, I'm not sure how well you can hear me. I've got the old 
wind muffly mic thing on the GoPro how well it's working I'm not sure but as you can hear it is the wind's picked up again uh, I think I'm in for a, a night of not too much sleep because I've given this uh, all night then later on between 10 o'clock tonight and 2 in the morning even though it's uh, drizzling at the moment they've given reasonable rain tonight um, anyway check back with you in a little while well just down the road from Coldham Long Barrow I'm in a pub called the George a little village called Trottis Cliff uh, I'm not sure if you can see the sign over there Trottis Cliff uh, four and a half miles to Mepham West Morning three miles Addington mile and a quarter uh, there's an old church I walked past up on the way here it looks like a nice little friendly place uh, just having a cheeky pint of dirty rucker and then we'll head on back to Coltham Long Barrow and further on from there so I just thought I'd give you a quick update of where I am and how the walk's going it's going really well feet are aching a little bit but I say I'll stop for a cheeky little beer and the woods right over there in the background is the area I'll be heading off to even though I'll be heading off back up that way which is the way I've just come from and then cutting across yes yeah, so thoroughly enjoy it so stay with me plenty more to come yet bye bye for now well hi there all I just left the pub uh, the George at Trottis Cliff and because I'm making really good progress today um, well ahead of schedule so I was looking on the old Google and it said there's a campsite 1.2 miles away so I've tried phoning them but their offices are closed until 5 p.m. and it's only about half past two at the moment so I thought I'd take a walk down there because obviously it'd be better off staying in the campsite tonight in this wind rather than the trees having branches flowing, flowing down on me maybe ripping me tent and bashing me on the head <laughs> wake up dead in the morning anyway yeah like I say I had a couple of pints of dirty rucker in the George lovely pub and they've got a special deal on at the moment while the rugby's on uh, two pints for three quid sorry three pound each two pints for six quid even though I had two pints but because I didn't buy them at the same time it was four pound a pint so oh, I'm not too bothered anyway the campsite if I manage to get on there tonight according to their website there's eight tents and everything else it's ten pound a night for a backpacker and even though I've got a lump of steak in my rucksack there's a beef eater just around the corner from there so I might have to go and have a meal a few more beers tonight and then I've got about five miles to do tomorrow and I'll save you steak for the morning so I've got a couple of eggs with me as well and it's got an Uncle Ben's spicy Mexican bean rice so in the morning for my breakfast I can have more steak and eggs and rice and beans oh that sounds lovely uh, yeah it's been drizzling now for over an hour they've given heavy rain tonight uh, chance of winds up to 60 miles an hour so I was thinking about it rather than like I say staying in the woods wild camping and then taking a chance of having a branch come through the top of my tent it might be better off for me to pay it's 10 pounds I stay on a proper campsite for a change and with a pub nearby so I don't have to be stealthy and it's going to be dark at 6 o'clock anyway so I think that might be the best option for tonight um, if I can't get on there I could always backpack um, across the countryside or backtrack across the countryside back to where I was going to go anyway so it's not, it's not a problem plenty of daylight left yet so anyway 
I'll check back with you all in a little while and let you know how things are going and where I'm actually camping. Bye bye for now. Welcome back everyone. Well, I'm not sure if you can see, I'm actually camped on Gate Hattlewood Touring Park. I actually stayed at this campsite. Now I remember, you can go up the road there and do a right, which is on the main road. Or if you could just go down here and do a left here, cut through the woods, there's a beef eater steakhouse, about a quarter mile up the road. So that's where I'm off to now. Uh, because of the weather, like I say, it's been raining now for about three, four hours. It stopped at the minute, but it's off and on, off and on. And strong winds tonight, I decided against staying in the woods. So I've got no chance of branches or anything falling off trees. And it cost me £10 for the night. But it's quite a nice campsite, shower block and everything, so... Don't have to worry about the toilet facilities, things like that. So yeah, off up to the Beef Eater Steak House now. Have a beer. And even though I've got a lump of steak with me and rice and eggs and everything, I think I might save that to me breakfast. I might even treat myself to some lunch while I'm up here. So it's now five o'clock at night. It gets dark about six, so... I... And the other good thing is, staying on the campsite, I don't have to worry about being too quiet tonight and stealthy because I'm not actually hiding so <laughs> hopefully it's going to be a good evening. I'll still have a few beers, something to eat, but go back to my tent and hopefully I'll get a reasonable night's sleep in the wind and the rain but who knows. So I'll check back with you in a little while when I get to the steakhouse. Well, just to let you know, I went up the Chinese, mm, fully impressed. I'm sitting in the tent now, second rations, uh, corn crackers there, special fried rice, special curry, and nice can of chocolate sauce. Lovely. Well, good morning all. I'm heading back towards my trail. I've just come from the campsite that's over there. And to pick up your trail, it's in this direction. Now the long barrel I visited yesterday was over there somewhere. That's where the North Downs Way was that I showed you yesterday, just the other side of the motorway there. So the trail I would have stayed, or would have walked along rather, is just the other side of them trees. So it's along this path, I've just marked on my GPS that I'm heading in the right direction, which is a good thing. As you can see, the weather's a lot better today. The sun's out, uh, the wind's dropped, it's a bit cloud around, but it's much better today than it was yesterday. I had a good night's sleep, and nice Chinese last night, a few beers, and I got up this morning, had a couple of cups of coffee, Cooked me about myself a couple of fried eggs and a lump of steak. Well, hi there, all. Sorry about the, the noise in the motorway down there. But I just thought I'd stop and give you a quick view of the solar panel. It's called the Sunny Bag Leaf Plus, this one. Now, even though it looks like this piece here is a solar panel, that is three solar panels there. And then here, we have another solar panel bit, and here. So the whole of this panel is extremely flexible. You, know, you can bend it, twist it, do what you like with it. The whole thing is the solar panel itself. Well, hi there all. I'm not sure you can actually see that on the GPS. But the circle with the dot flashing is my GPS lock. 
and the cross is the site of the long barrow. So, it's here somewhere. <laughs> it's not through there because I've just wandered through there and it clearly shows it's on this side of the motorway. Now I've just come down through this track here and I didn't see nothing there. That's the way I've just come down. Like I say, according to my Yeah, according to my memory maps on my phone and my GPS which will bleep in the background where it's turned itself from battery to solar panel it's here so all I can presume is this is it and it's been totally destroyed by the looks of it now it clearly shows that this is a long barrow as you can see it's nothing here yeah it looks like all the quarry work and everything around here has totally destroyed it uh, like I say this is a long barrow absolutely nothing left at all except for a small mound you know, these sites need protecting because if that is the long barrow which it clearly shows on Ordnance Survey map I'll take you back up the top of the route I've just walked down This is where I'll just walk down, walk down through these woodlands up ahead. It clearly shows, like I say, on the island survey map, at that, it's a long barrow. So it's a bit of a disappointment, this one. But we will continue on for the journey I'm back on my trail not a marked so I'm back on my route following my GPS which takes us off in that direction over there so that's where we'll head and hopefully we will find something of interest so stay with me Well hello there all, that in the distance there is Offham Church, I've just walked up past there and I'm going to head off in this direction but I just thought I'd take you through here, it looks like quite a nice view there in the distance so just wander around here, uh, clouds come out a little bit but it's not too bad, a little bit of a breeze which is keeping me cool I say, it looked like, as I'm walking along there, I thought, oh, that looks nice. So I thought, I'd share it with you chaps. Good old Kentish countryside. Now, a lot of the walk I'm doing, especially today, seems to be going through a lot of farmland. But I'm sticking to the footpath, so... The wall. Welcome to St. Leonard's Tower in West Malling. This little bit of a map here and the information board. Not all left, just a little tower. But... Feel free to pause and have a read.
nice they've got it in braille as well. That's a good idea. So I'll show you the tower. No one you can't actually get in there. Oh, defensive wall. I'll take you up for a walk around there. Not quite on the scale of Rochester Castle, but still interesting piece of history. The pathway doesn't go all the way around, it just goes up to this entrance here. That is the original entrance as well, because you can see the brick above the doorway. So it's not a new addition or anything. So it would have stood looking at that, look at the windows and things, I'd say it stood four stories, including the ground floor obviously. I was determined to find it on this walk. Yeah, Addington Long Barrow was a disappointment, but Coldham Stones were brilliant. Or Coldham Long Barrow. And one more thing left to find on my little adventure for you. And that's hopefully the ruins of the old abbey which aren't that far from here. So I suppose we better continue on. Stay with me, just a little while longer. Deuce's Manor. It's over there in the background. Sure you can't actually go in because it's private, but yeah, just up the road from the tower in West Morling. Yeah. Country Park here on my right, just through them trees. And let's carry on, see if we find the other remains. Well, here we are, still in West Morling, and that's Brom House there. There's quite a few links around here to walls. So we've got Commonwealth War Graves here in the church. All right, it says here. This is West Morning High Street. Oh, I can say there's a, quite a lot of links to the wall and everything here. Nice looking 
church. St Mary the Virgin, the parish council, or the parish church of Westmoreland, sorry. The Tudor house, church house. Wander on down through the high street. Here I am, West Ballin High Street, and I thought I'd stop at the Five Pointed Star for a cheeky little pint. Nice Kentish ale. While well, the sun's out, got to make the most of it. And here's my solar panel to charge my phone for five minutes. <sighs> Lovely, pleasant day. And it's 20 past 12, so it's lunchtime on a Sunday. So I don't feel guilty about having a beer. Check back me in a little while. Well, this is where the remains of the abbey are. It's behind them doors. So I'm not sure if we can actually get in there. But we'll take a walk down the road here and have a look. Because the old abbey itself is behind there. Go and have a look. Well, just outside the Abbey ruins. Yeah, the ruins of the Abbey are just over there, look. Well, here I am approaching the end of my journey. Uh, just coming up to Westmoreland train station where I'll be getting the train home today as I've got to go back to work tomorrow. So, hopefully you've enjoyed my little walk and a little bit of history I've discovered along the way. Thank you for being with me and putting up with me and listening to all my ramblings so, all I can say now is look forward to our next journey and thank you very much once again click the thumbs up button click the like button and please subscribe to my channel for future honest reviews and videos In the meantime it's time to say farewell Bye bye for now